Shifting focus now to news coming in from Jammu and Kashmir where anti-terror operations are on in full swing and one more terrorist has now been eliminated in the Avantipur encounter. That brings the total count of uh, terrorists being gunned down to two. That encounter was raging in Avantipur since this morning. Given to understand that this is the same group, it's the same uh, group of terrorists that was responsible for the killing of Sanjay Sharma, the Kashmiri Pandit, who was eliminated over the weekend. Identified by his religion and killed in Pulwama, the terrorists that were behind that killing have now been gunned down. Massive win for our forces in Jammu and Kashmir. These visuals, of course, coming in from Avantipura, where uh, the encounter was underway since this morning. Ishan Mani, my colleague, uh, getting us the latest from on ground. Yes, Ishan. Uh, well, yes, so there was an intense exchange of gunfire that took place here in Avantipura. We are at the spot and uh, now there has been complete lull. We are told by the police that the second militant who was inside has also been killed. The police tried to, uh, you know, take him out by using uh, tear smoke shells as well. Uh, you know, yesterday it was an operation launched around 6 in the evening and then with the first gunfire at midnight at, at around 2, uh, the, the firefighter ensured after coordinated search operation was launched. In the night time, we are told that one of those police said that uh, in killing in the, involved in the killing of Sanjay, uh, who was a Kashmiri pundit killed in Pulwama, was also there. He was killed in the, in the late night hours and then in the morning his identification was confirmed by ADGP uh, Kashmir police and then, uh, you know, there was an exchange of gunfire that was going down till now and now the police is in the final search is an operation that is going on that they're trying to check uh, if there are any more militants who could be hiding and also trying to ensure that there are no grenades or any traps which are laid to make, cause damage to security forces. Uh, remember two Indian Army Jawans have also sustained injuries. We are told one of them is in a critical condition and uh, right now uh, the combing operation is underway. Security forces trying to ensure that the operation is done taking maximum precaution so as to avoid any more casualties. Right, Ishan. So the latest that we are gathering is that two terrorists have been gunned down in that particular encounter. My colleague Ishan, who was getting us those details, was also reporting live uh, when this encounter was taking place. Let's take a look at that report that he sent us just a short while ago. A second militant who was hiding inside this particular vicinity has also been killed. Jammu and Kashmir police have just confirmed the situation and this gunfire is going on. We are on the ground. And now uh, there has there's been a lull for some time and police saying now that second militant has been killed. Uh, you can see behind me security forces are still in the area. They are uh, you know still laying an intact cordon is still underway. Uh, they're trying to search the area to ensure that there is no arms and ammunition that is left behind. Uh, remember, it was in the intervening night that uh, the gunfire broke out here in uh, Pulwama, and later on, police claimed uh, that one of those militants uh, was Akib, who they said uh, was involved in the killing of uh, uh, Kashmiri Pandit on Sunday. Uh, now, a search operation is underway, uh, though police had input about two militants being trapped in the vicinity. Now, uh, both of them, police say, has been killed. A uh, search operation is underway. We're expecting that in a short while from now, police will brief media and give out information about both of these militants who are now, uh, who have now been killed in this operation. Janwani, reporting for CNN News 18 in Pulwama. Shifting focus now to the national capital, where a day 